Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Train Room. Today we're talking about this right here, the 908 Scenic Station, one of the larger accessories that Lionel made in the post-war years. Now most collectors have one of these brand new its bag or set, uh, and that's nice and all, but we wanted to see one put together, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take one out, put one together, may even run some trains around it too. Let's have some fun with it, coming your way. Lionel Smoke-Popping Locos. The Lionel 908 Union Station, one of the largest accessories made in the post-war years. In 1959, 1963, and 1964, Lionel introduced one of the largest accessories available during the post-war years, the 908 Railroad Station with Ramp and Underpass. The 908 station and its sister accessory, the 910 submarine base, are considered uncatalogued accessories since they were only available in uncatalogued sets and were not shown in the consumer catalogs. According to John Schmidt and Project Roar, the uncatalogued sets that included the 908 station were sets X810NA and X 855 from 1959. Sets 19224, 19311, and 19318 from 1963, as well as sets 19394 and 19395 from 1964. Shown is a master carton for eight number 908s to be included when set number 19395 was sold. Typically, the sets were too big to be included in the set box. The set came unassembled in a large craft paper bag and is usually found with masked and sprayed information such as 908 to be included with XXX, essentially whatever number it was for. Some sets came in unmarked bags as well. The 908 has no markings or numbers printed and does not say Lionel anywhere on the station. The accessory also came with an instruction sheet on how to put it together. The instruction sheet has no part number or date. So, let's put one of these together. Okay, so before we put one of these together, I'll show you kind of how these come. This is the bag that I was talking about. It's a craft style bag, which basically just means it's kind of almost like a heavy duty um, bag that you'd get, say, like a grocery store. It's that type of material. It's not sealed or anything. This is sort of how they come. This particular 908 came in a bag that was unmarked. There's no markings here, um, and there's no markings on this side. Um, some of them would have had uh, markings where it was sort of almost like sprayed uh, with a little bit of a template and just would have said 908 um, to be included and in, say set 19395 or something like that too. So it does create a lot of variations because there's a couple different versions of the printing that would have been on these. Okay, so what do you get? So we're going to open this little guy up here. And again, it just opens. All it is is a bag, but they do get fragile. These things have got some age on them now at this point. And we're going to pull this out of the bag here. Let's see what we get. There we go. So this is pretty much a brand new 908 station. Here's the bag. We'll put that right here. And so with that, we have instruction sheet. Super cool. We have each of the pieces. This is one of the sides, or this is the front of the station right there. These are the sides, and again, they're unfolded. These are all scored so they could be folded later on. Really cool. Here, this is the roof section. All oh, that's good. So those pieces look great. And then we have the base, which hasn't has the little uh, 
punch-ins. So this is really a great set. Love it. This is not the one we're going to put together. This is a little too nice for that. But I do have one, and we're about to show you that coming your way. So this is the instruction sheet that you get with a Lionel Railroad terminal. It has one, two, three, four steps. Um, it's sort of an off-white uh, instruction sheet, single-sided, and the instruction sheet has no um, part number to it or date. So this is the instruction sheet, and we're going to go step-by-step step to build our railroad terminal. Okay, so we're going to start off with our how to set up your Lionel Railroad Terminal. We're going to start with step one, which is the ramp. Okay, so it starts off with saying open the ramp out flat face down on a clean surface. Take a pencil or table knife and push out all of the semi die cut slots on the ramp and other pieces. Break all of the scores by folding them over flat. Fold the back, which is the high part, and two sides up and in. Next, fold the four remaining flaps over these and snap the tabs on these into the square holes. And now turn the ramp over. Basically, this is flat. These sections right here are really important because these are the pieces that flap into them, so it makes for it nice and flat once they're all together. And we'll show you that now. Okay, so as uh, per instruction one is to open or unfold the base face down, which we're going to do like this. Uh, then it says take these flaps pull them out this way and this way. And then these sections right here fold up and over. And then these tabs come over the top, fold in like this, and sort of tuck in and sort of snap into place to go flush. Now this is the most fragile part of the whole thing. So we're gonna go around to this side here and fold this in here like yay. And that should snap in nice and flush. I'm gonna come over to this side, same thing. This folds, this goes over into this little section here. And it does, believe it or not, sort of snap in. All right, that's good. These, I've lost the tabs over the year, so I'm just going to take a little bit of some masking tape just to hold in place, and that's it. Going over to the other side, we have the same thing. Uh, I don't have any tab here, because hey, you know, <laughs> this thing's old. Um, so I've got a little masking tape, and I'm gonna apply it here just to keep this in the position it's supposed to be in. And this, the same thing. That tab is supposed to go over here to finish out part of the ramp. I'm gonna put a little bit of masking tape right here. Now, once all this is put together, the whole ramp gets flipped over. Like you, yay creating the base platform for the station. The second step is the main building. So it says here to fold back the sides and back of the main building. Fold the steps out and forward. Snap in tabs on the bottom of the steps. Slide sides and back into the corresponding slots on the ramp. Be sure to support the flat part of the ramp with your hand underneath during this procedure. Next, place the roof on top, locking the tabs on the front and sides into the slots of the roof. So this is the front with the steps. Make sure you support it. Put this part on and then attach the roof. Okay, so step two is putting on the main part of the building and the roof. So when you open this up, 
it's basically unfolds into sections like yay. Okay, um, so the first step is to take the steps and sort of push them into these little tabs. Now it says to lift up and support the base that they'll snap into place. The reason for that is step two is you have to take this back section and sort of push it into the tabs folding it this way and then over on this side you sort of push it down and have it seat into the base so if you ever wonder how many of these they made and how many survived a big part of that is this is cardboard you can only squish stuff in so many times so then the last section is the roof section. Uh, this is our roof. It unfolds. It has tab here, here, and here slots for the tabs here, here, and here. And you simply just put those over the top. There, there, and there. Voila. So step three is to put the track on. So you arrange the track as illustrated, which is this sort of loop to loop, placing the inside circle of the cinder section of the ramp. Okay, in other words, where it goes up with the crossing at the front. You may screw the track down right into the ramp. Wire according to instructions. You notice how it makes a loop and then loops around as we'll show you in just a little bit too. This is very similar to instruction sheets they've used before. This is just an example of a special layout instructions where they do the loop-to-loop. -loop. So this is a um, commonly used uh, layout um, and it's used for this particular accessory. The reason that you put the track on now before finishing though is because in the next step it's got the overpass pieces and you don't want to be putting those on and potentially Kind of damage while you're putting this so it allows you to put track and we'll show you that now okay so the next section talks about putting the track on and the reason for that is the overpasses are in place so i've sort of already put a, the pieces sort of together already um, and it goes right around the station with the crossing right there in the front just like that got another section here which comes across here we're gonna this section will go here and attach in the front and come around and this, this section here will fit here creating kind of the loop on loop around the front and the back of the station creating the track design per the instructions okay so now we're ready to put our underpasses together all right which is step four so you fold back the roof and sides of each underpass snap all tabs into corresponding slots one locking roof into front of underpass, three on each side of the main building, and two on each side of the ramp. So there's a couple different parts that come together, making the underpass over the track. Let's give that a run. Okay, so now that we have our tracks in place, the next step is to put our little side sections or the overpasses in place. And the way that these are supposed to go, they go here, they kind of fold in like this on themselves to create this little overpass. And so this, these sections fit in here and into here and into here. And then these little side tabs fit on or into the ramp like yay. And you just kind of have to 
So I'm going to make them fit in there. And this is our left of the station overpass. And then we go over to this side where this folds in and this tab fits in. So you create your overpass. And then this section basically sort of snaps in here, snaps in the side, sort of snaps a little bit in here. I wouldn't call it a snap, but they fit tight right through here. And then these sections fit into your base, holding those in place, creating the other side of the overpass. Grand Central Station. Now we didn't build this station to not do anything with it. Let's see how the trains run on it. So this is meant to be an 027 set. So, board display. All right, that's funny. Alright guys, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I certainly appreciate that. I always want to know how to make these videos better, so there's a comment section down below. Send me some comments or some questions. I'm happy to answer them for you. Now, I don't do this alone, so I do have a number of fellow collectors and operators who have opened their collections up and shared pieces that I can share with you guys, and that's at the very end. So, thanks a lot. Again, thanks for joining me. I'm Brian's Train Room. Look at her streak along the rails. It's a Lionel. Lionel Express arriving on time. Lionel smoke-puffing locos.